my name is Ben Eisenbach. I'm going to be sharing some recent work with Sergey Levin entitled, If Max and RL is the answer, what is the question? Well, this is a theory project. I'm going to try to explain it in pictures. The aim of this paper is to understand when acting randomly or injecting a bit of noise into your actions is a good idea. This may be the actions of animals, of humans, or of robots. We're not the first paper to study when randomness might be a good idea. Most prior work justifies randomness as being a good idea for agents with limited time or limited compute. That is, agents with bounded rationality. There's a fair bit of empirical evidence that supports this hypothesis. If this hypothesis were true, we'd expect that more intelligent animals would be less random. However, there's empirical evidence that intelligent agents actually perform more randomly. For example, adults seem to act more randomly than children. One somewhat famous study paired Yale students against rats and found that students acted more randomly than the rats. So perhaps acting randomly is actually a good idea, even if we have unlimited time and compute. Let's look at a couple examples to understand this. In this first example, there's a robot that's attempting to insert a three-pronged plug into a wall. As there's noise in the robot sensors, and the robot isn't placed in exactly the same position for each trial, you might imagine that jittering the plug around a little bit might help the robot to insert the plug. Said another way, if the robot always tries to insert the plug in exactly the same way, then any errors in the robot's measurements may mean that the robot repeatedly fails to insert the plug. As another example, here is an adversarial hockey player that attempts to knock over a robot. If the robot always tries to deflect the hockey player using the same strategy, then it'd be pretty easy for the human to find a way to knock over the robot. By injecting a bit of noise into the robot's decisions, the robot can be more robust against these sorts of disturbances. One thing that's worth noting is that robustness to adversaries is useful even if we're going to deploy our robots in scenarios that don't involve adversaries. Because robots trained with adversarial robustness guarantee that they'll transfer well to environments that might be slightly different. Now, as a counterexample, randomness might not always be a good idea. For example, in a pre for precise manufacturing settings, we might not want our robots to employ random strategies. So the main, taking these three examples together, the core idea of our work is that randomness is a good idea in some settings where we have uncertainty. This includes uncertainty in observations, it includes uncertainty in, about the dynamics or about the reward function, but it won't be applicable. To, randomness won't be useful in settings where we want really precise control, where there's no uncertainty. So to formalize these results, we, to formalize this idea of acting slightly randomly, we look at we look through the lens of maximum entropy reinforcement learning. Whereas standard reinforcement learning says that you should choose whichever behavior has the highest likelihood of solving the task, maximum entropy reinforcement learning says that you should sample behaviors proportional to the likelihood that they solve the task. For example, if you're in a new kitchen and need to look for a box of sugar, you shouldn't repeatedly look in whichever drawer is most likely to contain the sugar. Rather, you should look at all the drawers, prioritizing those drawers that you think are more likely a priori to contain the sugar. So we're going to look at three formal results from our paper. The first result says that maxent RL, that is acting randomly, is optimal, ensures that you are robust against perturbations to the reward function. Even if the reward function is perturbed a little bit by an adversary, the policy produced by maxent RL will still receive high reward. The second result is that max and RL is robust to disturbances in the dynamics. So in another way, the policy produced by max and RL will still succeed at solving tasks, even if the adversarial hockey player comes in and knocks the robot around a little bit. And the third setting where max and RL is optimal is settings where the agent must solve an unknown task. For example, consider a robot that aims to find a cookie as quickly as possible. And this cookie is going to be hidden in one of these three jars. 
If the robot always attempts to look in the exact same jar, then it might take infinitely long to find the cookie. In contrast, an agent that includes some amount of randomness guarantees that it will eventually find the cookie. So there are a couple of takeaways from this work. Most immediately, this work suggests that maxent reinforcement learning, that is just adding a bit of noise, might be a really simple and performant baseline for work on exploration, on meta learning, and robust control. But perhaps more broadly, our work suggests that randomness might not be an artifact of an agent's ignorance, but might rather be an ingredient for intelligence. Thanks.